It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Did you hear that? She said we're dashing. <laughs> and she called us a hero. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? <laughs> Hi! I am back to play more Slay the Princess. It's supposed to be a horror game, but it really hasn't been scary. And it's just so different than I expected it to be. We were transported to this entity, and the entity wants us to bring more perspectives to her. And I got an achievement that said, bring the prisoner to her. So we have to bring the princess to her over and over again, I guess. So now we have a main objective. This game is so interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, and if you're subscribed already, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And comment down below. <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay, we're back at chapter one. We just met the entity, and here we go. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Huh. It's like exactly the same as the beginning. I guess we just silently continue to the cabin. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor oh. and walls are painted. It's back to the log cabin instead of the castle. Dust. The only furniture of note. And we don't have any other voices besides paint. the narrator. Now that we don't have the skeptic, let's enter the basement without the blade, because he made us bring it last time. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Oh, her voice sounds different. <gasps> it's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. I'm here to save you. How many times do I have to tell you how dangerous letting her out of here would be before it finally sinks in? Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? Hi. I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. It seems like she has a different personality. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. Her voice is so sultry and attractive. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. Don't do it. If she gets out of those chains, we're all one step closer to the end. I'll see what I can do. Examine the chains. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. No, you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? This is exactly like chapter one, but with this different princess personality. I expected- Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. I expected after meeting the entity to have like a lot of voices being like, what was that? What are we doing? But the entity did say that we would forget everything. Cause unlike in chapter two, we didn't have a, but we died. So the entity made us forget everything and go back to chapter one with like a clean slate and no other voices besides voice of the hero. So this is interesting. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Um, if we check upstairs, I'll just lock the door, but let's see. Okay, I'll be here. Good luck. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. Mm -hmm. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs, this would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely oh. hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. 
As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. What? You're not sure how it made its way down here, <sighs> but if there's a time to strike, it's now. The narrator just cheating all over the place. <laughs> or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. All right, let's save the princess. <sighs> Fine. I think the same thing's just gonna happen again. But she has a different- Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, uh, self-inflicted wound. There's blood around her mouth. Just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. You cut into her flesh. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. Her limb falls Ew. to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, <laughs> blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. And blood from around her mouth, too, which makes her so much creepier. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. What are you doing? So chapter ones are going to be exactly the same, and we go through the same thing, except the princess's personality is different. And that means we're bringing a different princess to the entity, I guess. This is definitely like a really interesting time loop game. I'm loving it. Warner. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? Y you know you don't have to do this, right? Oh, I definitely do. Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it! Stop trying to resist me! I'm trying to get you out of here alive! Resist! The blade! Move the blade as your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance the princess takes a cautious step forward we both know this isn't you i want to know if the princess remembers like does she remember the last chapter one and two or is her memory also wiped when her personality changes in chapter one like i really want to know if both the princess and my character don't remember anything in chapter one i hope i find out if the princess remembers or not she nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. She plunges ah. it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. Oh no! I'm so sorry! So this personality, because the first personality just slit my throat with a lot of efficiency and accuracy, but she's like stabbing me like she doesn't know how to use a blade. So the personality is really changed. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. For her sake? Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. Ugh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Oh my god. <laughs> she doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? No, and the first personality really did. Apparently not, though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, won't be long before you bleed out. I'm so sorry! With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. It can't just end like this, right? Oh, that's rich coming from you. 
As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Everything goes dark. And you die. Chapter 2, The Damsel. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes, he didn't approve <gasps> of us last time, did he? If we're going to save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky about it. Ah! A new voice, voice of the smitten. Our oh, beloved. Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love, and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. <laughs> we'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. <laughs> what can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. <laughs> Let's proceed to the cabin. I think the voice of this Vin is going to be very funny. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. We already told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. <laughs> I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. I do, but I also <laughs> speak from the heart. I do. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. <laughs> voice of the Smitten reminds me of um, the prince in Enchanted. Like, he has such an over-the-top, grandiose voice. Oh, this is great. He might be my favorite. I wonder how many voices there are. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Proceed into the cabin. I wonder what it's going to look like now. The interior oh. of the cabin is clean and <gasps> elegant, its stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries, a prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Wow, it's an even more beautiful castle this time. He still didn't mention the mirror, but I don't feel like the mirror is important until the end of chapter two, but who knows? Let's let's try to the touch the mirror again. Is your implement. Let's approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But there was a mirror a second ago, and now it's gone. Pity. We could have a feather out of place and now we'll never know. <laughs> we can't gallantly sweep her off her feet if we have a feather out of place. <laughs> I don't think that's our problem. I think our problem is our scaly hand and claws. I'm not taking the blade. The door to the basement oh, creaks this open, is so pretty. revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Her voice. It's somehow even <laughs> more beautiful than last time. I can hear wedding bells <laughs> already. <laughs> I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <laughs> <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. Interesting, so this time she doesn't have a shackle around her neck and both of her wrists aren't bound. She's just like the same amount of chains as chapter one with just one around one wrist. Huh. My love, <laughs> we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul <laughs> imprisonment. 
my love. He's exactly like the prince from Enchanted. Oh, I love it. You know she can't hear you, right? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. <laughs> oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Okay. Yeah, so in chapter two's, my character and the princess both remember. Did you hear that? She said we're dashing. <laughs> and she called us a hero. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? <laughs> Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. That's right, villain. And you killed us. <laughs> That's right, villain. Well, she killed us. Only because he made us try and kill her. It was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. <laughs> and you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. No. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but what's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. The only person who's had this theory about multiple worlds has been the narrator. Like, we talked to the entity, and she said, you'll forget everything, and it sounds like a time loop. But then again, if it's a time loop, why is the appearance of the cabin changing? That could just be the narrator messing with us, though. But there are multiple personalities that the entity wants us to bring to her, so maybe there are multiple worlds. I don't know. What do you guys think is happening? We damned a whole world. But everything reset. Nothing resets. You're just somewhere else. You can't keep hopping between worlds forever. Especially not without leaving a trail of incomprehensible devastation behind you. <sighs> this is horrible. Horrible for you, maybe. But we've been given another opportunity to sweep her off her feet and treat her like the lady she is. <laughs> now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue? We never saw a world end, and now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic <laughs> destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. Are you listening to him? <laughs> He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. You killed me last time and it hurt a lot. Why did you do that? I didn't bring a knife. Do I have to cut you out again? Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. I have to ask, did you end the world after you killed me back there? That's, that's funny. I'm sorry about what happened last time. The narrator who sent me here to kill you took over my body. It was extremely unfair. <gasps> I want to say that one. If another version of me was pushed to such drastic action, it was for good reason. That's okay. You were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. She took that in stride. To a surprising extent. An almost unsettling extent, actually. Mm -hmm. That's because she's perfect. <laughs> Do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do? Oh. No. I think she's just multiple personalities for the entity. I don't think she has narrators or anything. She doesn't. There's no one else like me. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. <laughs> I didn't bring a knife. Do I have to cut you out again? I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. We won't be laying a finger on her perfect wrists, and indeed, we won't even have to. Do you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her right out with no harm done. Oh. <laughs> what? No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with any idea we came up with. Am I the only one here who thinks that's weird? She didn't care last time. Why should she care this time? That's our stoic, smiling angel. <laughs> no, you're right. It's extremely bizarre behavior and further evidence that she's a monster who's not to be trusted. So go ahead and slay her. So it's a different personality, so let's ask what happened after I died. You died, and now we're talking. Um, because the last princess, I was like, what happened after I died? And she's like, nothing happened. You died, I went upstairs. I couldn't leave. I found myself in a new place in chains again. More of them. And now you're back. Like, she actually told us what happened. She's just kind of like, you died, and now we're talking. But before we started talking, did the world end? Did you end the world? I don't know. 
Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? No. Isn't that just like our darling princess? She wants to make us happy. <laughs> My heart melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. Are you listening to her? That's a confession. No, it's not. No, I don't want the world to end. I have no feelings one way or the other about the world ending. Honestly, the world sucks. People are a plague, and I hope you brought a slow and painful ruin to them all. Oh my god. No, I don't want the world to end. Then I didn't end the world. Convincing. See? She didn't confess anything. <laughs> she is innocence itself. <laughs> um, not so sure. Rescue the princess. No. I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... You'll what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? Yep. I would if you had a weapon. You'll just whoosh the weapon down here like you did last time. Not on my watch, villain. <laughs> my passions contain titanic depths, and if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not agreeing to suicide. You wouldn't. I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> you approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand through oh. her bindings. That shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. We're doomed. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. I told you. There's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. <laughs> I'm free, and you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> if only you had a weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. She's definitely like a stereotypical airhead princess now, instead of like the first personality. I wonder how many princess personalities there are and I wonder how many voices we can have. So far we have two. We've had the skeptic and the smitten. I wonder how many there are. Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on our side? <laughs> What do we do now? What do you want to do? Let me guess. End the world? Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. <laughs> I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. Well, that's sad. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had her all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? You're so gullible. Is the only thing you've ever doubted the actual truth? I think I want to leave. And I think... The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection. And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? <laughs> I want you to tell me what you want. There must be something you want. Do you want to end the world? I just want to leave. We can figure out the rest later. If you want to leave, then let's leave. I want you to tell me what you want. I just want to make you happy. Uh... She can't just want to make us happy. It makes sense to me. That's all I want for her, so of course she'd want the same for us. There must be something you want. I just want to make you happy. Ooh, creepy. Is she broken? What's going on? What's going on is she's lying to you, only she isn't a good liar. Are you starting to trust me now? Of course not, I'm never gonna trust the narrator. But what would make you happy? I just want to make you happy. Oh my god, the art style changes are so creepy and well done. Oh my god. This isn't right. I don't know what's going on, but this isn't right. I fail to see the problem here. She's just sweet on us. You don't have to <laughs> act like it's a big deal. You have to want something more than just making me happy. Okay, I'll find something else to want if that makes you happy. Oh, so creepy. Is it just me or... Does it feel like we're alone right now? Like we're the only ones here? Oh, is the narrator gone? Oh, the entity's back! You don't get the chance to ask another question. Nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns? Oh! <gasps> Did we just get our memories from all the chapters? No. She was our perfect match. She's gone. 
Where does she go? Should we try and find her? Is that a... Why is it here? Why now? It's going to be okay, just trust me. We've been here before and you always get scared. But it feels so bad. L looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Yes. I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? <laughs> what? It's the end for you, but not for me. Oh, that's grim. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. She'll be there waiting for us. I just know it. Technically, she will be. You approach the mirror. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. Oh, I love that. I love that it says, like, the mirror always makes them leave. You've grown. Have I? You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Flickering lights and empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Are you the same being as you were before? How much have you changed? What does it feel like to change like this? When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? Oh, that's really interesting because the princess that we just brought to her didn't know what we want to do, so I'm going to ask that. With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. And every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. And what I am is different from what I was. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. Hmm. Are you the same being as you were before? How much have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. Ugh. I just love the singing in the background every time we talk to the entity. It's so beautiful. When I go back, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Ooh. Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now. Inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untracked. I love that. That is so great from a gameplay perspective. I'll only get new stuff and new personalities instead of like doing the same thing over and over again. That is awesome. That is wonderful. Ooh, what do you want me to bring you next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. Hmm. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. Ugh, kind of creepy. <laughs> so, you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow? My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. Hmm. Oh, 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 how many more vessels do I need to bring you? If I am to be an ocean, you have nurtured me into a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. You will have your rest in due time, and I am sorry for the burdens I place on you. You have been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Thank you. That's true. You have been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Why? Should we say thank you or why? She doesn't really answer questions with direct answers, so maybe I'll just say thank you. Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. Oh, is that true? Huh. I'm ready to go back. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. <laughs> that noise. 
<laughs> everything goes dark and you die. Ooh. Okay, well I'm gonna end the video here. So far we've brought two personalities to the entity and we've heard two voices. I just really wanna know how many princess personalities there are and how many voices there are. I think it's so interesting that even though we don't remember anything in chapter one, the personality still changes, but we only ever have the voice of the hero and the narrator and the voice of the hero doesn't remember anything, which is accurate because the entity said, you'll forget now. So I really just wanna play more and find out how many other voices and how many different personalities there are. This game is so interesting and I really like the entity, the hands that we bring all the personalities to because I really like the singing in the background. And all of her answers are just so interesting and philosophical and completely different than what I expect. So I really actually like that entity. I think that's my favorite character. I love the voice of the Spitten. He made me laugh. He's totally the prince and enchanted. My love. This is so much fun. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and comment down below. Do you have a theory about what's going on? Do you think we're just time looping and the narrator is messing with us and changing the appearances and the princess's personalities or do you think because we're bringing different personalities to the entity we actually are going to different worlds what's your theory thank you for watching <laughs> bye my love <laughs> we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul <laughs> imprisonment it's you my dashing hero i was so worried you wouldn't come back do you hear that she said we're dashing <laughs> and she called us a hero Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? <laughs> what do we do now? What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I want you to tell me what you want. I just want to make you happy. Uh... This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. <laughs>